Welcome all, Moon here from Elliott Wave Pro. So for this week's weekly outlook, we'll get straight to it, to the uh, DXY. Nothing's really changed on the daily. I'm still looking for this A, B, C, at least up to the 55th, and we could possibly even go and break that top. It's not really looking impulsive, um, so to speak, on the daily, because we had this large correction in here so more than likely we just get um a, a correction but we'll see if we go down to the h4 like i've been saying um last few weeks nothing's changed on the h4 we got one two three we got one two three and i was looking for that five up it looks like we're getting that um we got a cross down here so i'm looking for an x too so we got the w x y x z um that's what i'm looking for on the h1 h1's interesting um We got a, now this is why, I'm getting a little bit off track here, but we just got an A, B, C. So in Elliott Waves, we know that we get, uh, uh, for a motive structure, we get five. Um, so we get four, five. And then we can call that an A or a one. Now, a lot of the time we just get one, two, three, and then we can call that a W as a complex correction because you get a three, three, five pattern as a complex correction. It's getting a little bit off track, but um, yeah. So we've got a W on the H4 and we've got three up with bearish divergence on the H1. And now we're getting, we look here, zoom in a little bit. We sort of got this, um, one two three we're getting bare hidden here so i'm looking for this one down here to finish off that wave x so we got a w x y x2 and a z to finish off that w1 x2 uh x1 sorry uh the x if we look here it's i dare say we will get this um z down whether you're, you're sort of getting a little bare flag in here um you can trade that you definitely want to be at break even at that low and i'd sort of be looking at that 50 fib retracement target for your target if you go for that short i'll be more inclined to um wait and look for the bite wait for this x2 to be over um so assuming that this is going to go break that low for that bear hidden um you'll have this trend line here and wait for that trend line break something to buy and then look for that long for for the wave y um i think i've got the targets on there um for the wave y well i can't really draw the target yet because um, this wave X isn't over, but um, probably next week, you know, it'll probably take a, you, your first target is that 100 fib, wherever, uh, that's the wrong one, but your first target, I'll take these off. Oh, I'll leave that 50 fib on. So your first target is going to be wherever this ends. I'll just put it at the 50 fib here. Um, your first target is going to be that 100 fib, and then your second target is that 161.8 for wave Y. Um, like I said on H1, we'll probably get another lower low um, on H1 to give us that bullish divergence, trend line break, flag or correction, and buy. I'll be more inclined to buy. Uh, but you can scalp that short, you know. Um, 
AU. AU is really it's getting tricky on the lower time frames. Um, but we've got this cross down here. It's broken out of this trend. So I am looking for this, like, a, a, a larger correction, like an A, B, C down before we get, like, a larger A, B, C. We're getting up to the top. It's bounced off that 80, 80 cents. Um, go down onto the lower time frames. It's starting to get messy. H4, there's really nothing. We, we sort of have bearish divergence but only from over right over to here like we, you know it's sort of not the best bearish divergence we do have a ball hidden here um between this low and this one that's why i've got that red line there um if you go back through me videos yeah so as long as this price doesn't break below this red line we can go up and break that top for the bull hidden um it's yeah will it go and break that top i'm not quite sure but we do have that possible bull hidden there um are you i'm sort of staying out because of what i see on the h1 uh yeah the h1 sorry here we've got um we got this a b c down we never got anywhere near that 100 fib we got a trend line break it gave a nice buy set up here and it's it's come back um we sort of got an a b c in here some sort of a expanding flat now we will more than likely get more upside. Will it go and break that top, this top here for the H4? Well, if it is possible. It's not really giving, it's very choppy. That's what I don't like. It's It didn't give us that nice impulse. Like it gave a nice impulse here for this correction here. But this up here, it, it's, it's reasonably choppy. Um, now this is probably the larger correction well it is the larger correction in here for a flat in here you are getting a little flag in here so you can look for that buy and i just as soon as it breaks that top there move it to break even um and you sort of can if we go draw the fib and you can look for that i you could take half off at that 100 fib there and then just let the rest run and it may go and break that top for the h4 ball to it hidden so yeah um you could look at that or even i mean the the 61.8 is just about at the top there too so you could you could first target that 100 fib and then the 161.8 eu EU is really messy too, like I said, been saying. We've got, like I said last week, we've got this here, and then we've got this here. This is looking very corrective as well. It's not impulsive, so more than likely we will come up at that top. Um, we do have that bearish divergence, so it is quite risky. But it's that's sort of what price action is giving. See the C wave C. Well, it's not going to be a wave C up to the hundred fib there um, anymore because we're getting another correction in here. I sort of can't call it a flat. You can't call this a flat because this is choppy and this is choppy. The the wave A and the wave C should be impulsive now they're corrective so we'll have to look at the count um what actually the count is once it's complete but we do have that bearish divergence on the daily like i said this is looking we've got a trend line break here um but this is still looking corrective 
which makes it hard um, because we after we get the bearish divergence, we want a nice sharp move and then give the correction, you know, for more downside. But it's not doing that, so we have to play it the way it's giving it. Like I said on H4 for the last few weeks, the same as that DXY. We got one, two, three, one, two, three. So I was looking for that one, two, three, four, five. I'm still looking for that on the H4. Um, we're starting to get uh, we're starting to get the larger correction. So I'd be looking for sells. Um, you know. Even though all this is looking correctly on the daily, I still don't think this correction is over and we're going to get a larger correction. Um, if we go down to the H1, the H1, we got a WXY, we've got this WXY down. This is a larger correction. Um, it's got bare hidden. You can clearly see that bear hidden. So I am, I, I was looking for this in here to just give a flag in here for a circle, for a wave Z down. It didn't do that. It's, it's sort of, it's playing silly buggers. Um, we do have that bear hidden. It's not confirmed yet though. But, um, yeah, I might just go down to them 15. So we had that nice buy set up. Um, you know, this was a nice buy. I think most people would have seen this and got it. Um, if I get trend line in here. So we broke out of that trend line and then we come back above it. So more than likely, it's A. B, C for more upside for an A, B, C. Can go and break that low, but like I said, on the H1, that bear hidden divergence is not confirmed yet. Um, it's sort of, what I would have really liked to see is a bear flag in here or a bear correction to sell. It didn't give it... Um, which mate, it's making it a little bit harder. So on the H1, what can you do? There's no real buy setup or sell setup on it. That's the problem because it price action in here. Um, so I dare say we get an internal W, X, Y, X. This ball hidden here plays out because we have a ball hidden in here. This plays out. We get a break of that top. And then we get bearish divergence in here. Then once we get that bearish divergence. Uh, once we get that bearish divergence. Uh, I draw this trend line. Presuming this is going to go up and break that top. Which I, I dare say I will. I dare say this top here will be broke. It's confirmed. And then we get that bear hidden. Wait for your trend line break. Then wait for this correction and then sell. Because then we get that. Because you'll more than likely be in a wave Y. So you know, you'll be targeting that H4. Um, because this will be a H4 correction. And then you'll be looking for that wave wide down which is the 161.8 take off half at that 100 fib i can't I can't draw the um the target yet because we, we haven't finished this correction we don't know where this correction and this correction here can turn into uh, it might just go up here break that top then give another three down then one two three four five up here so we don't know where this correction is going to end yet but I'm looking for that one, two, three, four, five. Okay. GU. 
H1, we're still within this uptrend. We've got bearish divergence. Haven't broken that trend line. H4, we don't really have any bearish divergence. It's, it's sort of making it a little bit difficult. But if we look at the end here, we've got one down, sort of A, some sort of a B, then a C, an A, B, C in here, and then you get that A, B, C. That's sort of what I'm looking at. It's too early to, um, we don't have enough price action yet to um, sort of give us that structure. But that's sort of what I'm looking at because, or it can be like, I don't like this here as an A, B, C. It can be a little flat in here and we go for an A, B, C. I'm not really liking it because of what the price action does. It has done when we look at the, the H1. Um, we sort of got an A, because this is all corrective. We've got an A, B, C in here. For an A, B, C, finish off that B wave. So we got a A, B, C, didn't come down to the 100 fib. Then we're getting this break out here. This hasn't broken the top here. Uh, I'm pretty sure it hadn't on my platform. It may have on, on this one. No, see, it hasn't broken it on this uh, Oneida either. So we do have that bear hidden here. It's not confirmed. It, it, it's not tradable for the bear hidden. That's the problem. Um, it, so we're sort of in the, up in the air. Because the bear hidden, um, we can't trade it as a bear hidden. It doesn't fit the rules. So, um, But it still can go and break that low for a, a, a w x y x z um and have some sort of flat in here i don't like this because it, as the correction because this was the correction in here um but you know um it's sort of not giving the best sort of setup that's the problem and we got to you got to remember that the market is in incorrective mode seventy percent of the time. So we got an impulse that's the thirty percent, and then seventy percent it's in a correction. And then thirty percent it's in mode uh, in impulse, and then we get another correction that's just seventy percent, and then you get so seventy percent of the time the market is incorrect in a correction so with these weekly outlooks some weeks we're not going to get any trades and some some weeks we're going to get the setups um that's trading um you know so now we're in a, a correction um and the h1 like i said it's really going to be tough it's not giving a buy or a sell we sort of got this here probably look at that as a flat and then we get a b c one more up and then look for that a larger a b c down it's tricky i'm staying out of this and au because they simply aren't giving the structure that i can trade that they haven't completed the the bear the corrective structure for me to be to be able to trade so i'm sort of staying out of these at the moment um yeah and you and you we've got this z up i was saying we've got a nice piece we've got to move down here and then we got this ABC up in here. So I was looking at that as a flat correction to go and break that top. We've broken out of this trend line now. So what we can do is 
we've broken this trend line. This was a nice correction in here for this. I'll be more inclined to look for the sell. Wait for this correction to be over. And then look for an A, B, C. Um, I'll be more inclined to sell than look for that as the larger flat. Um, if we look at the H1, we've got bullish divergence. So I'm sort of looking at this as a complex correction. So we get one, two, three, one, two, three, and then we get that one, two, three, four, five down. That's sort of the structure that I'm sort of looking at at this stage. Um, I'll be more inclined to sell, but I'm not ruling out that we get this as a, like, this is an A, B, C in here for a running flat. And then we get that A, B, C um, to finish off the corrective structure before we get that more downside. So that's sort of what I'm looking at on NU. UY. UY is playing really nicely when we look at the daily. We're getting that nice impulse up, like I've been saying. It was only a matter of time before we got this. And we're getting that. Um, was it going to go from this low or we get another low? Well, I didn't know at the time, but it actually come out, out and we got it from here, from the low where I was suggesting and my account was correct at this, this crowd. This count in here was correct. It turned out to be correct. On the H4, we had, this was the nice setup. This is where I put it out on trading view, this buy in here. And if you took that, you know, I mean, that's like uh, 500, 500 odd pips. So, you know, you would have done really well out of that. We had a, not a larger correction in here. We're getting another correction in here on the on the H1. If you took it, um, we had a nice correction in here. It's giving a nice flag in here now. You know, this is, you know, you can definitely take this. We're starting to get bearish divergence. Um, but yeah, you, we can look at this as a, a an A, B, and, and we'll go up for another C. So um, yeah, you're getting a nice buy set up in here. You can look for that buy. Nice little flag in here after the correction. So definitely look for that buy if you want it. The Swissy again, very interesting. Now on the weekly, like I said last week, I was looking for this X2. Now, um, like I said, um, we, we usually look for the 38.2 in the X2. And when it starts, price starts to get around this 55th, we have to start to change, look at changing the structure. Now we nearly got to that 50 fib up here. So I can virtually rule out, I can't totally rule out this um, Z down on the weekly. I can't totally rule it out because it still can give us something like this, a real deep and some sort of a, um, contracting or, or or running flat. So we can't totally rule it out. But at this stage, I'm really only looking for buys, but I need that correction before I can look for the buys because if we look here, we got a higher high here. So ideally we get a correction and then you can look for another buy. That's on the daily. Um, on the, we don't have any bearish divergence on the H4.
So it still may go up more. We got this nice correction in here on the H1 and we're sort of getting, it's not the best looking flag. That's the problem. We gave a nice flag in here or nice correction, broke out, little flag, more upside. Um, I would like to see it go up high because we don't have any bearish divergence um, on the H1 either. And if anything, we have that ball hidden in here. Or well, even in here, it did look like a cross. We got a little dot up here. So uh, even here, like these lows here, we've got that ball hidden. Um, so I'll be more inclined to buy it. But it's not giving a flag. It's more of a go down onto M15 because this is more of a flat. See, so we've got an A, B, C for an A, B, C. You can look for that buy. You can either put a buy stop just above the top, and if if you get triggered from here, um, this is your stop loss. Um, sort of yeah your targets are going to be hard it's sort of more of a scalp you definitely want to you, know, you definitely want to be a break even at that top because we will start to get that bearish divergence then so um and then just let it run to see see how far you can far it goes um because on the daily we don't know how far this way this this wave here is still not over. So we don't, this may even go out and break, break out of here, break out of the trend line and then give the larger correction. We don't know where this wave A or whatever this wave is going to be. It's impulsive though. So it's either a W1 or an A. Um, and then we get correction and then more upside. So yeah, you could look for that H1 setup. UCAD, UCAD on the daily, um, we still got plenty of room down for that 100 fib. It's still within this trend line. We're still in that downtrend on the CAD. I was looking for a buy on this one during the week. Um, sort of got, we had this nice impulse up here and I was looking at this, I was looking, I'm looking for this C up for an A, B, C before we get more downside. I dare say we will get this, um, this sharp move up. We, we got, have we got bullish divergence? It's hard to tell. I don't think we do, no. We have bullish divergence. So we do have bullish divergence. I'd be more inclined to look for the buy. Daily we have that bullish divergence. And even if it's only a C up, and I suspect it to only be a C up because this is looking like a B wave, you know. We have broken that low, and you can a a B wave can break the low of wave A in a running or expanding flat. Um, I'd be targeting that hundred fib, but we don't have a buy set up on it yet. Um, there is no buy set up, but I'd, I'd be only looking for buys wherever this ends. This B wave ends. I'll be looking for buy setups. At this stage, we, we don't have any buy setups. Um, yeah, so we've got an A. Looking at this as a B. Wait for an impulse up. Wait for a nice impulse up. And then buy setup. And then definitely want to take that up to around that 100 fib at least. Maybe expanding and, and go and break that top. We don't know. Um, but yeah, 
I'd definitely be taking half off at this 150. G U G Y. Sorry, not G U. This keeps on going up and up and up. Like I said last week, we'd broken that 100 fib and like your second targets, this wave Y, which is the 161.8. So we still do have, you know, um, well, six 600 pips up to there, you know? So, um, yeah. It's looking choppy, though. Like I said last week, I was really, I, I need something to buy to get in. I was looking for this um, somewhere around here last week, uh, the week before, last weekly outlook, and I'm still looking for that. Sort of we need something to buy, some sort of a correction. This can't be all the correction because it's too sharp. It's, a, it's an impulse. So I'm looking for this, A, B, C, and we can see that this is reasonably choppy. So I'm looking for that sharp move down, move up, little flag, something to buy, and bang, you know, to go and break that top. We do have bearish divergence, but there's still plenty of room up on the daily. So we may get price come back, retest this 100 fib, and then take off. Um, so, yeah, we'll have to see. At this stage, it, there is no buy or sell on it. Um, yeah, there's no buy or sell on it. Why this trend line holds, if you get a break out of this, really want this to go and break that top, give you... Nice impulse down, something to sell, and then you could probably sell down, scalp down to that 100 fib, daily 100 fib. Uh, EG, I'll show you this one because I'll put this idea out on Trading View um, a couple of weeks back. It's still valid. Like I said last week, even if price does come down and break this invalidation point, we know that a wave B can break the starting point of wave A. Um, this is the target, um, the 100 Feb, as a flat correction before we get more downside. This was playing around this 90 Feb here for ages and ages. And um, yeah, finally we got that trend line break. We're getting a little flag in here. I took it down here and I did take one over here somewhere. I think it was over here somewhere. I took a buy. I still held it. Um, I had me stop loss just under this low here. Um, it's still going and I took another one down in here. Um, but we're getting another buy set up here. Well, we've got a nice break out. And you get a little flag in here. Look for the look for the buy. Gold. Looking for that uh, on the daily. Looking for the correction. We got a W X Y. I'm looking for an X two and a Z. At least up to that 38.2. I think it's going to go higher. Um, if I... We might... Because we've sort of got a channel happening here. If I get this. Sort of got some sort of a channel happening here. Um, I think we can make go back up to the top of the channel and then get that Z down. Um, because we are looking for that W1. Uh, yeah, the weekly wave X2. So that be your X2 there for the weekly and then we get more upside. So I'm sort of looking for, you know, that correction in here to give us that Z down. Go to the 
H4. There's really nothing on H4. Um, we're still within this trend line. We do have bullish divergence between this low and this low here. Um, we got all this in here though. Um, so there's really nothing on the H4. If we go to the H1. I've got some really nice trades out of this last week. You know, we got a really nice flag in here to buy. Took that, got out. Then we got this really nice sell set up. Took that, got out of half at the 100 fib and I was looking at the 161.8 as a second target. Um, never got there. I still done pretty well out of it. Um, got out of the second half around here somewhere after it started to get break above that 100 fib again um now look for the buy i think it may even have ball hidden has it yeah it does it's got ball hidden here so at least look for that um i'll just draw the fib This was nice scalping last week. Done really well out of it. Like I said, if you're missing some of these trades, join the group. Even while you're learning, you'll still get onto a few nice trades, you know. Um, so first target is at 100 fib. So what you'll be looking for is a flag in here. You'll be looking for a flag to buy. You need something to buy. You can't just jump on it wait for a flag that gives you your risk reward and then you aim for that 100 fib at least that 100 fib your second target will be that 161.8 uh, but yeah you sort of if we go to that h4 no the daily sorry see we can like i said on the daily we can you know get up to the trend line sort of thing you know so yeah um second target that 100 uh 61.8 um wti this is still going up and we're right on that 100 fib it's it's staying around this 100 fib it still can go higher but we have that bearish divergence. So I, I think it is running out of legs before we get a larger correction, you know, something down to the 50 fib, hopefully, and then more upside. Um, H4, we don't have any bearish divergence. That's the problem. Um, it makes it hard uh, to short. I'll remove that. We're in this uptrend. Um, why this trend holds well you can still look for buys um, but we're we're at a top I was sort of looking at this um, a a b c for a b c hasn't fallen over yet um, but I'll be more inclined to look for the cell on the h1 um, get that cell get out of it uh, and then look for the buy um if this does go a b well a, a, a w x y come and break that trend line it gives another correction and a z down you know um, well then we can look at it as that as the top of the daily c wave but yeah i'll be more inclined to look for the cell it's not really it didn't Give me what i was actually looking for i was you know looking for an impulse down then a little flag you know uh, it's a cell um, it's sort of staying up here which makes it a little bit difficult but that still can play out and give us a nice cell set up we'll just have to watch it um wait for if you get any cell set up even if it goes up here um draw it some sort of trend line wait for a little break little flag something to sell if you get any cell set up against that top i'd be looking for the cell just for that scout but like for the 100 fib longer term it may still go up or it may give 
See, the way we don't know if this wave sees over. Like I said on the daily, I'm looking for the 50 fib retrace. You know, I am, we should get that eventually, but is it going to be from here or we get another high? We don't, we can't confirm that this C wave's over yet. So, um, but really, I'm only, re because we have that bearish divergence, I'm only really interested in the cells. Um, the larger impulse is going to be to the downside because we've already got the impulse to the upside. So, you know, um, if you get a cell set up in here, look for it. Bitcoin. Um, the daily, not much on the daily. See, on this one, it's not really playing nice. We've got A, A, B, C, and I was looking for that A, B, C. It never happened, unfortunately. Um, and then it's it's giving a contracting flat. That's what it gave. Um, there was a couple of buy setups on it. Um, I think even last week I put a buy on it. Um, we got what made it hard this was a beautiful setup and this was your first and second target that failed um we got a nice impulse up but it didn't even get up to that one 100 fib should move remove this because it's it's not valid that trade was ages ago it was over here okay? that was a nice setup but it just didn't go you know then come down, it would have taken everyone out and then goes. Um, so now, getting a lot of divergence in here. Um, so we could look at that as a W, X, yeah, see, this is sort of looking like a flat here for more upside. So we may get another one up here to go and break that top because this can be a correction. Um, yeah, so say way Y up here, and then we get the X, then we get the larger X two over here, and then we get a Z up. Sort of what I'm looking at. Yeah, see, this does look very much like it running flat. We had the bearish divergence. We would have got a trend line break in there, and we get a little flag in here for correction on the H1. Oh, we're on the H1. Um, yeah, so this, you could probably buy this again only if it's valid when you see it on youtube because it won't be put out for a few hours but yeah you um you could look for that buy um little break above there or um if you get it go right down on the last time frames and if you look to see any buy look for the buy you know this be your stop because this is looking like a little flat in here um, to at least go and break that top. You want to be at break even at that top because then you definitely will be getting a lot more bearish divergence. And then we'll more than likely start to get that H4X2. SBX. SBX. Breaking that tie. I, I, I was sort of looking, see, we we broke this trend line and we're still in the uptrend. And I've been saying that we're still in the, this uptrend. It's not confirmed. We did get a cross down in here. Um, I was sort of looking for that short, maybe you know, to the 50 fib, give us a larger correction. But this isn't over. Um, H4, 
because I was saying that this, like I was saying last week, we got this. Some sort of a correction in here for an A, B, C, and then we get that A, B, C. So if you jump, got it, got in any trade um, long, you would, would have done it right. Um, I took this little cell in here looking for the larger correction down because we broke out of this trend line. Um, I took a little sell in here, uh, took off half and the second half actually hit, hit me at break even. Um, now you could actually look for that buy because if we look at the daily, I should have showed this on the daily, 100 fibs right up here. So there's still plenty of room up on the 100 fib. Uh, on the daily, sorry, to the 100 fib. So, you know, there is still plenty of room. And on H1, we are getting a trend line break. So, yeah. Get a little flag on the lower time. You probably have to go down on the lower time frames. Um, if you get any little buy set up, um, you could look for the buy to at least go and break that top. It's not going to be much. And I dare say after, you know, I'd hold it. Assuming that, that this goes and breaks the top, um, why this trend line holds you know you you could keep it but i dare say eventually it, it's going to give us that bearish divergence you know between the tops so you just have to watch it because you gotta remember you're buying if you if you're looking at taking this you're buying at the top like at, we're breaking highs all-time highs you know, so you've got to be very careful. You know, you've got to take that into consideration if you're looking to trade this pair. You've got to keep tight stop losses and you really got to know what you're doing. Um, you, you know, because this can fall over and give a larger correction to the downside um, at any time. You know, we don't know. We're looking at that daily 100 fib, but will it get there? Well, we got no idea of that. No one has. Um, the DAX, oh, looks like it's got a big move up on the DAX by the little bit. So, um, last week, yeah, see, I've been saying for ages, we got, this is looking corrective. We got a break out of the trend line. Then we got this correction here and then it broke out. And yeah, this was, it was all looking um corrective and eventually we got that move up um so if you got this you done well um because that's that's a pretty big move yeah so we're looking at this last week i remember looking at this we were looking at this and i was saying looking corrective a b c so you got that c up um Yeah, I've got the fibs. I don't know what I was looking at there. Oh, it was right over here. That must have been from a few weeks ago. I don't know why I didn't draw the 100 fib here, but we've got A, B, C. It's at the 100 fib now. If you're in this, this is still looking bullish up here. Um, you, I would be taking half off because you're at the 100 fib. Or if you're still holding, you could probably... Uh, if you still got the whole position, well, you could probably keep it because it's looking bullish up here, even um, on the H1. That's a correction. We got trend line in here. See, this was your buy. Pretty sure this was what I was looking at last week, that there in there after that trend line break and this is looking bullish in here and you could even look at this as your 100 fib on this move on the on the h1 like right? um so you actually breached 100 fib 
and you're going higher if you're looking at this as an A, B, C, or this is a W, X, Y. So you're going to get uh, an X2, whether it starts around this is the top and you get the X2 for a W, X, Y, X, and then the Z up, or it's looking like it's going to give it um, a, a smaller correction because this, this is looking, you know, really bullish in here. You could even scalp this. Okay. Um, yeah, if you're looking for this pair, I, I don't trade it. I don't even you know, look at it. But um, yeah, if you got this, you've done really well. Um, yeah. So that's about it this week. Uh, I hope you have a good trading week next week. Get on to some pairs. I'm liking that um, EG. Uh, where is it? E, that, this EG. I'm liking this one. Um, you know, if you get a nice setup on this, buy setup, take it. Um, you might make some nice pips out of that. And um, yeah, so I hope you make some pips, pips next week. Share, like, subscribe if you like the um, if you like the video, and enjoy.